Okay, try to ignore the Sailor Moon playing in the background right now. Um, I'm trying to clean, and I was doing dishes, and I didn't realize one of the glasses in the dish, or in the sink over there, was broken, and I cut my hand on it. Look where I cut myself. I don't know if you can see where, right there. But I've been holding this paper towel like, like this, and I thought, oh, it's probably done bleeding now, and then I like, pulled it back. Look at all that blood. It's just, ugh, it's not that deep, I don't think. I don't know. Injuries while cleaning. Cleaning is very dangerous. Don't clean. Ever. It will kill you. I have to get back to cleaning. Hello everyone. It is Saturday, May 14th. I can't speak very loud. My voice is really kind of scratchy actually. Um, but if I talk at this level, it's not that bad. I'm doing laundry right now. I do laundry at night because usually nobody's down here. Um, just wanted to answer a few questions and also give bad news. The bad news is my friend Nino has left for America. Now I'm all alone for reals. At least none of my college friends are here anymore. Everybody's gone home now. That makes me sad. But more will be coming. That's the good news. Although they won't be coming to Fukui because they're going to other schools. Speaking of schools and study abroad in Japan, I was asked about my experience studying abroad and what it was like going to a school in Japan. Was it harder? Blah blah blah. For me, no, it was not harder because <laughs> I'm a genius. Not really. Um, it was for me. School wasn't that difficult. School's never really been a difficult thing for me. Um, I'm kind of one of those people who just can BS everything. I'm really good at that. If you know how to BS, it works miracles. But I went to Akita University in Akita City, Japan. Everybody gets it confused with Akita International University. They are completely different universities in completely different cities. They're in the same prefecture, but different cities. And all campuses here um, for international students will provide housing, so you don't have to worry about it. All housing that I've ever seen for international dorms are pretty nice, so don't worry about the dorms. And I highly suggest doing study abroad. It was really great. It's how I met a lot of my Japanese friends who I still talk to today. But school wasn't really that hard. There was a bit of a challenge at first because I really had no idea what was going on. Um, but otherwise, it's really, it's easy to pass, it's, but you know, people can fail by not you know, showing up to class and stuff. So if you come here to Japan and you do study abroad and you just kind of relax and don't go to classes and think you can get away with it just because you're a foreigner, don't think that. You're not going to get away with it. I was asked about Universal Studios Japan in comparison to Universal Studios in America. They're pretty much the same thing. Um, I've been to both, but the last time I went to US, um, not USJ, to the Universal Studios in America was in high school, high school, middle school. It was a band trip. Yep, band nerd. I played flute. They have very similar rides. I mean, they have, they both have Jurassic Park ride, and it is exactly the same. But I don't know about like the new stuff. Like they have this one at USJ called Space Fantasy. I think that's what it's called. I don't know if they have that in America, but it's really kind of on crack. It's a very Japanese ride. Um, but they have Spider-Man, which I think they have Spider-Man at Universal Studios in America. But when I went to Universal Studios in America, they had um, Back to the Future, not Spider-Man. But that's because Spider-Man hadn't come out yet. Wow, I was young. I'm old now. But pretty much the same. Also, I don't know how much Universal Studios runs off of Sesame Street. There's a lot of Sesame Street at USJ. Amusement parks in general are pretty popular. Um, I wouldn't say they're to the extent of America. We have a lot of smaller amusement parks. Like there's Ferris wheels everywhere. I mean, we have a Ferris wheel here in Fuku, in, not Fuku, in Takefu. I will never go on it because I'm terrified of Ferris wheels in general, but this one in particular scares me. It looks very rusty and like it might collapse in the next typhoon. As for water parks, I don't know of any water parks. We just go to the beach. We have actual water here. We have actual water here? What's that? No, we have like oceans and stuff, and I don't really know of any water parks. Curry is full of gluten? Yeah, sorry. I need to go check my mail. Let's go do that. Hmm, I wonder who this could be from. Bella, I wish you were here enjoying all the magic. It's absolutely amazing. I miss you and love you so much. Love your witch friend, Jello. I still hate you for going without me. I wanna go outside. There's the moon. 
look how loud these are. These actually are, can keep you up at night. You gotta find one. You know, you can't see much out here. But frogs are really, really huge here in Japan. Um, one of the JTEs I work with told me a horror story about a huge one. But frogs are extremely loud. This is out my side of my apartments, by the way. That's why I live in. There are people watching me. But anyways, I hope, Nino, you have a safe trip back home to hell. I mean, America. And that's all that I have for today. So everybody, I will see you tomorrow. All right, I'm trying to capture these bats. Oh, bat, 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 that's bat. Come here, bat. Come back here. Uh, so we have bats in Japan. Just FYI. The name is Batte. The logic is erratic. Potato in the jacket. Yeah. Um, tools in the bed. Ooh, there they are. So we have bats that fly around. Those aren't birds, by the way. Just BT dubs on that one.